That worker tells me that not only did they lose a loyal, hardworking employee, they're also losing customers because many in their community are now afraid to even come in for food. As the team at East Walk Chinese Restaurant in West Palm Beach prepares for the lunch rush, the owner, Chen, is cooking right alongside them. It's more difficult because we all have to like multitask and it just gets really busy back there and it's harder. Rosary Hernandez has been working at the restaurant for six years as a cashier, cook and manager. She says right after the new immigration law was signed, she heard from another employee who has been working at the restaurant just as long. He gave me a call and he told me that basically saying goodbye, that he had to move. SB 1718 requires businesses with 25 or more employees verify the citizenship status of workers through E-Verify or face stronger penalties. It also includes new health care, education and transportation measures. Advocates for the immigrant community say all of those provisions combined could be devastating for Florida's economy and for families. Latino community, they don't want to, and that's like a big chunk of customers that come here because of where we live is a lot of Latinos and sooner or later they're not going to want to come in at all. Hernandez says for now they're picking up the slack left behind by their former employee, but they're hoping things will turn around. Maybe something will change. Maybe the governor will realize that Latinos, they make a big part of the economy and not just in restaurants and everything working in the fields, working in roof and construction. They play a big part in the United States, not just Florida. And that law goes into effect July 1st. In studio, Jay Jarvis, WPBF 25 News.